Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Lauren. If you're new here, if you're not new, you may have remembered me reviewing the first release in this collection series, initial release. Okay, let me back up. What are we reviewing today? We are reviewing the newest launch from Odin's Eye, and that is the Solmon 2 collection. Solmain, Solmon, it's Swedish, so I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but this is the Solmon 2 collection. Solmain, so I think I just said it like five different times. Solmon 2 collection, and we're gonna be talking about the palette in this collection, the Moonwish palette, as well as the highlighters and blushes that came in this collection. But I actually did review the Solmon 1 collection when it came out, and I really liked it, okay? I will say, Odin's Eye is not a brand where I would say that their eyeshadow is my favorite, but some of their newer releases have been really good. First of all, I've really been liking their single eyeshadows that they launched. I think those are really good. And I brought out the Solmon 1 eyeshadow palette just so you could take a look. But I just thought this was a really well done palette. I thought the colors were really rich. They were easy to blend. They were really nice. So when the Solman 2 collection launched, I went back and forth about whether or not I wanted to pick it up. And I did. I picked up the whole collection. So we're going to review it. And you know, I've seen a lot of reviews from people who have gotten this in PR. I have not seen a lot of reviews from people who have purchased it themselves. So. Hopefully this is one of the first reviews you're seeing of somebody that spent their own money on this collection. Um, not that I'm saying that if they get it in PR, they're not gonna give they as a, a whole, the beauty community, uh, they won't give like an honest impression, but you know, there's always like that little bit of doubt in the back of my mind. Like, is that really how they feel about it? Is it? I don't know. I still would love to get free PR. Feel free to send it my way. But I did spend my own money on this collection. so. We're gonna review it. I will say, this collection came with two blushes. So, mm, three blushes, three highlighters. I only have two of the blushes in front of me because one of them arrived very, very broken. So it's in quarantine right now. And uh, it's kind of a bummer because that was the blush that was the only one that came with this collection that was shimmery. And I really wanted to try it and it's broken. But we do have three highlighters as well to review. And we're just going to do a look, you know, we're going to swatch all the highlighters. We're going to swatch the two blushes that are remaining and we're going to do a look at the eyeshadow palette. And then I'm going to give you my honest opinion as to whether or not I would recommend this collection. If you should get it, I'm never going to tell you, you should get an eyeshadow palette, but hopefully it can help you decide if it does have a place in your collection. So let's get into some swatches. I will say it's like 11 o'clock at night. It's a little bit late. I took a three hour nap today. I don't know what was going on. I was really tired. So now I have all this weird energy. And I was like, I'm gonna film this review. I just got this collection in the mail yesterday. And I was excited. I wanted to try it out, especially because, especially because look at this. This is the palette we're gonna be reviewing. There is so much purple in here and I love purple. So that's kind of what sold me on the palette. <laughs> At first I was like, I don't really need it. I mean, I don't need it, but the purple, sold me. So fingers crossed it performs really well. Um, at least as well as that first palette because that one was really good. But I will say we're going to do some swatches. I'm just going to set them to music, kind of speed swatch things. Uh, and I swatch it out of order for some reason. I miss two and I come back around and I get those two. So when you notice me swatching out of order, it's not you. It was me. But let's get into those swatches. Okay, so I've gone ahead and primed this eye with my Gimme Glow Primer and Parchment. 
and let's do something purple. We have to, we have to. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go ahead and use Planet and I'm gonna put that all over my upper lid because that purple, it swatched really well. I thought all of those colors actually swatched really, really well. You know, I was worried when I first saw the palette release. I initially wasn't gonna get it, okay? I was like, I don't need the whole collection, but I absolutely love the blushes and the highlighters from the first collection. So I wanted to get those, but I, I was just like, I don't know if I really need that palette. It seems a little pastel-y. And I, if you've been here before, you know, I'm not a big fan of the pastels. I'm just not, they're just not my thing. I just find them too light. You know, I want something pigmented. So really happy that when I swatched all these colors, it did seem like they actually had quite a bit of pigment. So I am very happy about that. Like even this color, um, which is called Planet, by the way, I am clearly all over the place in this video, um, but this color looks a little pastel-y, right? It kind of does. It's pretty light, but it goes on really nice. It definitely is not what I would consider a pastel. It's a light purple, but it's not a pastel. Okay, let's go into Lunar Eclipse, this dark purple color because that is calling my name. I think the other thing that actually I was pretty excited about when I swatched this palette is that those shimmers, those shimmers were really nice. Like I was really impressed by um, that blue on the bottom row, Neptune. I thought that was beautiful. Okay, I'm kind of just, I mean, the technique, the technique I really like to use is just patting really pigmented colors into my eye versus doing a lot of blending because sometimes you can just blend it into oblivion. So I'm just patting it into my eye. We're not doing a super complicated look. I just want to pick a few of these colors to see how well they work for me. And if they're on the same page as that first palette, which again, I really, really liked. But yeah, so far we're not seeing any patchiness. They're going on really, really well. I'm not getting any fallout, which honestly the patting technique really helps with that. Helps control fallout to a certain degree. So that is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful purple. My first thought is to go into universe, but I'm gonna give this yellow a chance. So let's go into meteor, meteor, meteor. I'm gonna just put some on my finger and I'm going to put it on the rest of my eye like that again we're not doing a super complicated look but purple and yellow it's a classic right i do like how shimmery those shimmers are that is super pretty and let's go into i really liked crater i thought that was a really pretty pink uh, let's go and put that under my waterline. Now, what's interesting is this color, it has some shimmers in it. It's that kind of sequin formula. I talk about this a lot with ColourPop, but it's almost like it's a matte where shimmers were added as like an afterthought. So they're not like blended together very well. And I feel like the shimmers don't really stay. Uh, so we're kind of seeing that with this one as well. There's shimmers in the eyeshadow but you can't really see once you apply them. I don't really understand that formula very much. I don't understand why companies use it. I'm kind of curious to know why. Do people like that formula? Do you like the sequiny formula? Let me know. Okay, and last, but certainly not least, let's go into Mercury here. I wanna put that just like right in my inner corner. And I definitely don't have the right brush for this. So I'm gonna just stick it on my finger and pat it in. Okay, that's kind of perfect. That is a look that I would do every day, honestly. It's not complete yet. We really need eyeliner and mascara to see the final product, but I really like that. That's very pretty. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this eye. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara and eyeliner after I do that. And then we're gonna move on to the blushes, the ones I have left, and the highlighters as well. Mascara and eyeliner is on really completes the look, I would say. I like it, I like it a lot. Let's move on to blush. The two remaining blushes that I have at least. The first one I have is Lilac Mist. And you would think it would be super lilac-y, 
but I don't think that color is lilac. I'm just gonna say that. And uh, the other one we have is pink bloom. Now, to me, these look very similar. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I'm gonna swatch both of them really fast. One is, you know, a hair, a hair darker. Uh, okay, definitely darker. So this is lilac mist. So that's actually a pretty deep pink, right? Like a rose pink. Okay. And then let's go ahead and swatch pink bloom, which is significantly lighter. So that's pink bloom. And the one that's in purgatory definitely was more of an orange and it was shimmery. It was so pretty. So I'm really sad that it burst into a million pieces, but what are you going to do? You know? So I think we're going to go into pink bloom. I think that's just more my color for sure. The lilac mist is interesting. Let's go into something I typically would not go into. Let's do lilac mist. Again, this is what it looks like. No shimmer in it at all. Wow, it is, okay. Okay, that's actually really pretty. Now I went in with a very light hand. With blush, I often make the mistake of going in heavy handed, looking like a clown. So I am trying to go in a little bit lighter with this blush, especially since it's a little bit darker than what I would typically wear. But that is going on really nice. It is actually quite pretty. Now with a blush like this that is super pigmented, I probably next time I wear it, it would not do any sort of like crazy eyeshadow or like super bright eyeshadow. I would stick to a more neutral eyeshadow just so I could really let the blush kind of shine on its own. Okay, not as scary as I thought it was. It's actually really pretty. But I mean, look at, look at this. Next up, we have the highlighters. So we've got Light Glory, which looks like this. Moon Tears, which oh, looks a little bit more purple. Yes, down for that. And then we have Star Legend, which is also very pretty. These are all very, very, very full of shimmer. Okay, I'm gonna do these on top of the, not on top, like on, to, on top of the blushes. So going in first with Light Glory, looks like on the finger, swatching it up here, very yellow. Definitely very yellow. Okay, and then we have Moon Tears, which I will say is the one I was most excited for. Like a lot of other people, I feel like I've been on a purple binge with everything. Give me purple everything, okay? And then last but certainly not least, we have Star Legend. So that is more of a pink. And I think we have room. Oh, barely. Wow, okay very very soft i'm really happy that these did not break in transit especially that last pink one because it's very very soft okay these are all really pretty but i think like the blush i want to go for the one that i probably wouldn't have reached for and that is light glory let's go into this one this looks very yellow okay it is not wanting to be picked up on this brush oh there we go Okay, layering it on top of the blush has given it a really pretty pinky appearance. Way more pink than that really bright yellow that we swatched. Is this like a duochrome? It kind of looks like it's a duochrome. It doesn't look like a duochrome on my hand, but I'm beginning to think that it is because it does not look yellow. on my face. Okay, I'm going in with my finger. We're doing the note. Okay, that is pink. There is a duochrome there for sure. Hmm. That's so funny. I cannot see the shift at all on my hand. So I'm going to check the website and I'm going to put it here and just verify if these are duochromes because I wouldn't be surprised if they are. Odin's eye likes to do duochromes, but it just it doesn't look like that in front of me. It's so weird. And that is what happens when you try something 
you wouldn't typically try happy surprises. This is the final look that we came up with. Let's talk about this collection and what my opinion is. Again, I paid for all this, so I am gonna give you my honest opinion. And I have a lot of thoughts about Odin's Eye. The first is that they send out their PR too early. I'm just gonna say that because by the time the products launched, there was already a bunch of videos out. Okay, the wait time in between the launch and when these videos started popping up, probably only like a week to a week and a half, okay? But the makeup world moves quickly, okay? Time is not linear in the makeup world. In the makeup industry, if you don't launch something the next day, people will forget about it. So I kind of wish that there was just a shorter time in between when all these videos came out with the PR versus when people who pay for the product themselves are actually reviewing the product. There's, there's a gap, there's a gap. Um, but I will say, I liked this collection. I'm very happy that I like this collection because I have been making more of an effort to not buy full collections. I just don't need them anymore. But with this one, when you got everything in the bundle, it was a pretty decent deal. And then you could actually stack codes on top of that. So I was able to get even a better deal. So that was actually very exciting. And that was another reason why I ended up getting everything versus just getting the highlighters and the blushes. You know, again, like I was really on the fence about picking up the Moonwish palette. It was beautiful. I saw that it was beautiful, but I was just really worried that these were gonna come out and just be pastels because a lot of the times with Odin's Eye, you get a lot of pastels, I will say. I think that their matte formula is really good when it has enough pigment in it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of ColourPop's better formulas with their mattes. Like, I just think it goes on really well. It blends out really beautifully. Like, I do really like their mattes, but I am way impressed by their shimmers for this palette. I just thought they were so beautiful. We didn't use the Color Universe, but when I swatched it, I was like, that's one that I'm gonna just wanna wear by itself because it's so pretty. It's the perfect amount of purple, the perfect amount of sparkle for kind of like a light summer's day. Now, Meteor is definitely a gold, a goldy yellow. Can't go wrong with a goldy yellow, especially if you have blue eyes, it makes your blue eyes pop. Uh, Mercury was really pretty as just as an inner corner color, just to give a little bit of sparkle there. I'm excited to use Neptune. We didn't use Neptune, but the ones that we did use, I actually really liked. And the swatches just made all of the shimmers look really impressive. Everything felt smooth. I didn't have any issues with fallout, patchiness. Overall, I am a fan of this palette. Now, Odin's Eye eyeshadow formula, not my absolute favorite, but again, I will say that with a couple of the palettes they've come out with more recently, including these two, the formula is really good. Again, is it my favorite formula of all time? No, but I do really like the formula that is in these palettes. Worked really well, didn't have a problem with it had a great amount of pigmentation, which is exactly what I look for. So yeah, I've really been enjoying this palette and now I'm gonna be enjoying this palette as well. The blushes. I don't think this one should have been called Lilac Mist. There's just not really lilac in it, right? That soft lilac purple. That color is definitely represented in the eyeshadow palette, but this is kind of just more like a deep rose. It's a very pretty color, but it is very pigmented. So you just have to be careful when going into it. But again, I was really impressed with how it applied. I went in very softly and I think that was really the key for me. Um, pink Bloom is something that I can just see myself wearing all the time. Now, the reason why I really like their blush formula, it's really, really smooth. It just feels great. Now, I'm a cream girly, but this is the best powder formula. It's so good. I do really like their blushes. Highlighters. These are interesting. Okay, so we use Light Glory today. Has to be some sort of duochrome, multi-chrome. It, it looks super yellow, like it looked really yellow when we swatched it. Really turned into a pinky color on my cheeks. Part of it was layering it on top of that blush and definitely affected it, obviously. But it, I don't see that yellow anywhere, that just stark gold yellow that I was a little bit worried about. So really pleasantly surprised with this one. Obviously we didn't use the other two. Again, we have doo -doo -doo, Moon Tears, which I am super excited about. This is actually a color that's a little bit reminiscent to some of the highlighters that they came out with in the first Solmon collection, but it's also my favorite, so I'm fine with that. And then we have Star Legend, which is a pinker one, which is really, really soft. Like when I swatched it, it 
just very, very soft, very, very pretty. This is the kind of pink highlighter that I absolutely love. Again, we're getting, we're getting into the ethereal area, which I love so much. I want to look like a fairy at all times. And I, I really do think this collection will get me there to fairydom, right? Again, I would never tell you how to spend your money. You know if you need this in your collection, but I will say I am really impressed with how everything that we tried today performed. I'm really excited to keep using all these products. Very bummed, very bummed on the blush that broke. So I'm hoping to get a replacement for that one because I would like that in my collection, but just overall really, really pretty. It's a color story that I gravitate to. Again, I am a big fan of purples. I am very into like the ethereal shimmers as well as like the super pigmented colors. And I think this is a good mix of that. It's not pastel, yay. Uh, that was my biggest concern. And after swatching it, after using it, I'm not concerned anymore. And then yeah, just really excited to use the blushes and highlighters because their formula is just really, really good. I really like using it. It's smooth. It goes on really well. I will say the only drawback to the highlighters is some of them have a little bit chunkier shimmers. Now, I really like very smooth, very well blended highlighters, but this is an okay exception. I am really happy I picked up this whole collection because these are all colors that I fully intend on using. They're just really pretty and I can make them work for me. They'll definitely work for a darker skin tone as well as they're so pigmented. You're going to be able to build up that color. So I'm glad that they did just a beautiful collection. I'm really a fan. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could please hit that like and subscribe button, that would mean the world to me as we grow my little channel together. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.